This is the time of year when the glaciers are active. It's when they're melting. You gotta be pretty heads up traveling up here. As a glacier rescue good. specialist on California's Mount Shasta, Eric White of the U.S. Forest Service has just about seen it all. Glacier climbing can be pretty tricky. You're concerned about falling into crevasses, concerned about chunks of ice, seracs rolling down the hill on you. Mount Shasta has also shown White some very unexpected symptoms of global warming. Glaciers that are growing, not shrinking. We actually have glaciers that are advancing, they're getting bigger. Some of the glaciers are 30% bigger now than they were 50 years ago. Dr. Sulawek Tulazic of the University of California, Santa Cruz, has studied glaciers in Iceland, Greenland, Antarctica, and Mount Shasta with Eric White. Yeah, we were very puzzled by the fact that we found growing glaciers on Mount Shasta. The explanation Tulazic discovered is directly related to global warming. Warmer air carries more moisture. We've had our, our wettest winters on record during the last 10 years. Shasta has an unusual climate. Nearly all precipitation falls in winter as snow. Almost none falls in summer as rain. In most places around the world, the precipitation is uh, more evenly distributed during different seasons. It's the amount of precipitation that largely controls how healthy these glaciers are, with temperature playing somewhat of a secondary role in this uh, mass balance equation for these glaciers. But all this extra snow does not make White and Tulazic happy. Mount Shasta is not an extinct volcano. There's about one in three chance in our lifetime it's going to erupt again. Some of the deadliest disasters that happened in the, in the recent past involving volcanic eruptions uh, happened because uh, we have relatively rapid melting of ice on tall volcanoes and this meltwater from the ice mixes with volcanic debris to form mud flows. Ten years ago, Shasta released a small mud river that blocked a nearby highway for weeks. It was a pretty impressive event. You could see boulders the size of maybe a Volkswagen bug rolling downstream. We have to keep in mind that unlike Mount St. Helens, for instance, uh, Mount Shasta is located next to major population centers. If there's a lesson here, perhaps it's that the effects of global warming may be very unpredictable and little understood. These glaciers are really teaching us what we don't know about global warming, that climatic changes can actually lead to more snowfall and larger glaciers. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.